Welcome to Oncology Podcast News. I'm your host, Valerie Lynn. Today's topics include Trazdezumab improves outcome in women with aggressive breast cancer, new category of chemotherapy drug approved for breast cancer treatment, breast cancer MRI detects more ductal carcinoma in situ. Inflammatory breast cancer is a rare but highly aggressive form of cancer. More than 80% of women with inflammatory breast cancer develop metastases within five years. Chemotherapy is usually given before surgery to control the disease. However, results have not always been successful. In a recent study reported at the European Cancer Conference, researchers found that adding trazdezumab, commercially called Herceptin, to chemotherapy appears to completely eradicate tumors better than chemotherapy alone in women with HER2 positive inflammatory breast cancer. HER2 is a protein receptor that is present in certain breast cancers. The researchers found that a complete disappearance of the tumor was seen in 55% of women who received trazdezumab and chemotherapy compared to 19% of women with inflammatory HER2 positive breast cancer who did not receive trazdezumab. Trazdezumab, or Herceptin, is a member of a new category of drugs called targeted therapy agents. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, recently approved a new chemotherapy agent, Ixabepilone, for the treatment of recurrent breast cancer that does not respond to standard chemotherapy agents. Ixabepilone is the first of the new classification of chemotherapy agents called apothelone. Ixabepilone is given every three weeks as a single agent or in combination with another chemotherapy drug called capecitabine. One of the main side effects of the drug is reversible peripheral nerve damage. Other side effects include a drop in blood counts, muscle and joints pain, diarrhea, and fatigue. Ixabepilone is marketed commercially by Bristol-Myers Squibb as Exempra. Ductal carcinoma in situ, or DCIS, is an early stage breast cancer where cancer cells are confined to the lining of the ducts. It's considered a precursor of invasive breast cancer. One in five breast cancers detected by screening mammography is DCIS. Therefore, treating DCIS has the potential to reduce the incidence of invasive breast cancer. Researchers from Germany reported that breast MRI is more sensitive in detecting DCIS than screening mammography. The researchers evaluated 7,319 women who were seen from 2002 through 2006 at a tertiary care breast center. All underwent mammography and intravenous contrast-enhanced breast magnetic resonance imaging. The researchers found that of 167 women who were diagnosed with DCIS only, breast MRI detected 92% compared with 56% for mammography. However, interpreting breast MRI can be difficult and depend upon the skill of the interpreting radiologist. Therefore, Oncology Podcasting News recommends that further studies are needed before breast MRI is used for routine screening for breast cancer. For OPN, I'm Valerie Lynn.